Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I will show you how to do A slash commands and B, how to get this little badge. So, let's begin. So the slash commands are very useful for your disco bot since I think they are more powerful than your normal commands, which uses prefixes. Since you can do slash, choose a command you want, for example, kick, and for example here, name, you can only accept names, and for reason, you can put a whole string in here, and they are very simple to do. People think they are complicated, but in reality, they are extremely simple. So let's go back to our code, that is OBS, not code. And let's go to our little cog. So in here, we are going to create a slash command. So instead of doing commands.command, which we usually do to, you know, create a command, this time we're going to do next card dot slash command and open bracket. That's how easy it is. And there we done. You can add a description if you want. For example, you might want it to say, um, you know, test command. They look like this few slash, you see, bands them under permanently. And then you can also do guild IDs and then you have to put it in a way since it's a list and if you just copy the ID and put it down here this command will only apply to that guild it's very useful if you have a bot that's in multiple you know servers it's gonna basically take some time for you know the slash command to take in effect afterward it's normal as other ones let's do um, test open bracket self and instead of putting context like we usually do we can put interaction colon next card and believe it or not interaction so if you do interaction there we go and then if you do here await interaction send so this way this is how easy it is it's afterwards it's just the same as context commands there's really nothing changed though you do get you know bonuses with it so now if we go back into our server and put you know test you can see it has you know appeared on here and we can now you know, press enter and you know, it will apply to us. So some other cool stuff you can do with the bot, for example, you can add different parameters. I want to actually showcase what parameters you can have. For example, you can have a channel parameter, which only searches channels. We need to have an uppercase um, text channel. You can also have yourself um, a member thing. So if you do user equals next card dot, you know, member, refresh it real quick. And then it should appear over here. Now we're going to do test. You can see there's two new variables, and we have to have these variables. If we press enter, it will not let us continue. We can only select channels, let's say verify, and then user is going to be us. If we press enter, it'll you know gather those information and can do some cool stuff over them. So you might be wondering, how the hell do you get the active developer? Well, technically, you already got it. All you really need to do is actually activate a, you know, a slash command for that Discord bot, the bot that you're currently working with. And then after 24 hours, it's going to take some time, go to discord.com developers slash active developer. I'll put it in the description below and you can claim your badge. You will have to create a support server for that Discord bot. It can be anything to be honest. I just created a little uh, one here, as you can see, and you will get this little badge and then your bot will get this little badge as well. But other than that, that's how you basically create them. They are easy as hell to do and they're pretty fun to mess around with. I will do a future video where you can actually make forms, like text forms. They like appear, you can get data from them. You can, you know, get a ton of stuff from them and, you know, make them work with the bot. But other than that, I think that's all there is to basically tell about um, slash commands. They're pretty easy to do. There was really nothing. So if you did enjoy this video, just don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That will basically help me out a lot. I will be doing future content where I'll probably have a tutorial how to do a login system, a system that logs messages, users, all that stuff, and then databases. That's another thing I really want to do. But um, other than that, I will see you in the next one and have a great one.